Dininigus may have hunted in packs, a behavior inferred from fossil sites where multiple individuals were found in close proximity to a single large herbivore. This suggests they could have coordinated attacks to take down prey much larger than themselves, similar to modern wolves. Evidence suggests Dininigus was feathered, which implies behaviors related to thermoregulation, display, and possibly even brooding similar to modern birds. The presence of feathers also hints at complex social behaviors and visual communication. The enlarged sickle-shaped claws on their second toes were likely used for gripping and slicing prey. Dininigus may have employed a kick and slash method, jumping onto prey and using their claws to deliver fatal blows, akin to how modern birds of prey use their talons. Dininigus likely had a bird-like posture with a semi-erect stance and moved with agility and speed. Their limb structure suggests they could run swiftly and make rapid turns, crucial for an active predator. Though direct evidence from Dininichus, slacking, related dromaeosaurids show signs of nest building and brooding behavior. This indicates Dininichus might have built nests and cared for their young, protecting and potentially teaching them. The relatively large brain size Dininichus suggests higher cognitive functions, potentially indicating problem-solving abilities, strategic hunting, and social interactions within their groups. Dininigus likely had excellent vision, their forward-facing eyes suggest binocular vision, providing depth perception crucial for tracking and capturing prey. This visual acuity would be particularly useful in a pack hunting scenario, where precise coordination and timing are essential. The tail of Dininichus was stiffened by a series of elongated bone chevrons and zygopophyses, providing balance and agility. This structure would allow for quick directional changes or running or hunting, enhancing their ability to chase down agile prey or maneuver through dense environments. While direct evidence of vocalization in Dininichus is not available, their close relationship to birds suggests they might have used vocal sounds for communication. This could include calls for coordinating hunts, warning of predators, or social interactions within the pack.